Hello everyone, this is Ethan Dragon, and welcome back to another episode of Fire Emblem Heroes. So, here we are, last day, and, uh, well, like usual, even though we have a plus 208 scoring offense, we still have to basically win all of our matches to make tier, to stay in Vault of Heaven, that's just how it is, until we get even more merges. <laughs> uh... But uh, until then, we, we have to... We basically just have to not lose forehead. That's, that's pretty much it. Uh, we can I think we can even drop four units, lose on defense. We still haven't gotten our defense result in the last 20 hours here yet. And uh, still make it. So it's basically just don't lose. <laughs> Already looking bad. The Triandra. And, yeah, this is going to be interesting. That's, I can say for sure. At least we can isolate, but that's about the extent to what we can uh, do here. So, I guess the number one issue is... Uh, hmm. So, the knot here is quite troublesome because of allowing Celeb to reach this tile. Nino can never one-shot the guy, so that's tricky. I was thinking of using the Bolt Tower. These are... <laughs> I mean, it's uh, way at the top, so it's expected that everyone's going to be decked out plus 10. That's pretty standard. Uh, we could opt for a very greedy bait on... Wait, no, we can't bait because Lilna's there. So if we hit the bolt tower damage on Lilna, they can't regen, and she does go below 25%. So again, like that previous match uh, where we sacked air, rest in pieces. Um, we can vantage that. Of course, we can never vantage Claude because of a fallen star. <laughs> so slight problem there. We could feasibly double him, though, at least. He tops out at basically effectively 63 speed, and there's no speed debuffs on the team. There's uh, Odd Tempest here, which is kind of interesting. I'm not sure why they would do that, but... Uh... Another thing we can consider is there are no rallies on this team, so when Not hits end turn, Triandra's actually going to dance uh, because of whatchamacallit, Pathfinder. But the thing is, she's going to dance from here. That's actually kind of awkward. <laughs> um, I was thinking of doing a funnel of sorts. Because we can break this healing tower. The tactics room, ideally, we would want to... break. Um, but I don't think we can afford to, is the problem. And we can't leave anyone here, so that means PNU had to be here, Nino here, and then we just smite in against Triandra. Seems okay. We would want to do that turn two, so we have to go very quick there. With the reasoning being with these two uh, shenanigans here, all these units are funneled in. So when we hit and run off of Triandra here, I want to... None of them can reach is the point uh, because they're all already taking advantage of Pathfinder and uh, Lilina's one space too far away. So we can get all the chip damage down on all the units here and they can't heal, but uh, I don't think it's trivial. I think that's our that's the play we're going to go with. Uh, we're not going to do any off camera uh, planning here. We're off video planning. I'm just trying to think if there's a better play we can make. Because if, if we if we wait till turn three here, we're just gonna take too much damage from Celeph is the problem. That's about it. We're just gonna take too much damage from Celeph. <laughs> um And then of course we probably wanna play our face Claude. We can enemy phase the guy because he's too slow. We do max out a high enough speed to double him, naturally. Just I don't like that. There's no spot to actually bait him from. Like we bait here, 
Um, that's baiting out Julia, Claude, and Lilna all at the same time. So I think our best bet is to go for this play over here. So let's get Mila over here real quick. I'm not mistaking anything with Odd Tempest here. It doesn't look like it. Uh, we don't want to actually isolate Triandra turn one. It'd be kind of bad. We want to attack turn two. So let's do this into this. And then we can do this. And then we can just do this, sure. Here's the dance as expected. Uh, probably should have, you know, actually properly calc to see the matchup against Friandra. <laughs> that would have been good to do. But uh, here, unfortunately, we can't do anything ultra fancy. We could reposition, reposition. Ah, it seems okay. This basically avoids tactics room, is the point. And yeah, there's all of this going down. We already knew that everyone was not going to be able to attack us here. Uh, we could just go all in, attack, and turn sweep the match. Kind of don't want to do that though. Because <laughs> we want to be him. <laughs> uh... Is there a way to not do that? I feel like the answer is probably... Probably yes. The main issue is just going to be Seleth, period. Uh, we haven't broken these structures yet, which is the real problem. Other than that, everything is fine. You know, we could triple player phase kill. Uh, and there's Bolt Tower, so leaving someone to not counter against Seleth seems kind of bad. Actively bad. It's also Odd Tempest, so I feel like we should just sweep the match here. I don't know why we're trying to flex, we should just sweep the match here. <laughs> uh, I guess the last thing we need to check is to see if we can actually take out Lilna, Vantage Range, because uh, that definitely is not above 25% that I can say for sure. Um, Hell dies, Claude dies. Seleth, how does Seleth do here? Minus six attack. So Nino, we can max out her attack at a pretty decent amount here. Well, okay. So we can take out Julia of Air, reposition, and kill that way. Okay, so in that case, uh, not we kill Seleth. Pretty certain we kill here. Yeah, he only has 52 res bulk and only reduces their attack. So it's basically just Lona, and I think we also kill there. 53. We also got the dagger debuff as well. So it should just be GG here, but we'll just calc to be sure because I'm brain dead as heck. Uh,. Nino will be in Vantage range, or Brazen range, I should say. So she gets an extra seven. Caden, Mila. I don't think Peony will be in range. So I think it's just 83, which should be more than enough. 65, yeah. And we also take out Claude this way by player phasing into him. So it should just be GG here unless we overlook something. 20 damage from Bolt Tower drops Nino into Vantage range. We already know that from many times over, so let's just do it. Too bad we're not BMing and picking up the easy structures, but what are we gonna do about that? I guess if we wanted to BM, there actually is an option, but no. <laughs> I think it's uh, not wise for us to do it. <laughs> let's put it that way. It would be it would involve breaking the tactic room, and. Uh, I don't think it's a good idea. Mm. <laughs> I don't think it's a good idea. I, I think we just go with what we've got here. Ready. Let's just do this. Lovely. And hope we didn't overlook anything here. I guess the main thing... Oh, actually the main thing is if we drop out of vantage range. 
that would kill us here. <laughs> but uh, I guess we'll die in that case. The match won't be over, I don't think, in that scenario anyways. So we should, we should be fine regardless, but it should just be a sweep here. Yeah, no ether structures. Feels bad, man. But uh, at least we get our lift. That's really all that matters at this point. And GG. Of course, we never have to actually rush in at all. Like, there was no time limit there in that, or turn limit in that respect, because we already broke the healing tower. Triandra's just going to recursively dance on Knot. So it's not like we could, we could have just waited. We could have even broken one ether structure there if we wanted to, but we didn't. Uh, <laughs> 10 out of 10. And from the looks of it, I think we probably lost on defense. <laughs> uh, pretty typical towards the end of the season. But with that, uh, I guess that's spoilers, but I guess it shouldn't really be a surprise. But uh, yeah, rank 37 so far, we're going to drop a lot, but this probably is enough for top 1k. It's around the range for top 1k or around the minimum score for top 1k typically, so we'll see. Until then, that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. As always, this is Ether Dragon, and hope to see you all next time. Bye!